All right, what is on the bench today? We have a circuit. This should look familiar. This is a common emitter amplifier and capacitively coupled input, capacitively coupled output. We've got some gain. And um, what I wanna do is I want to turn this into an oscillator. So I want a one transistor NPN transistor oscillator. All right, so that's what I wanna do, all right? So uh, this is the point that's gonna be the output. How can we use that as feedback in order to oscillate you need to have positive feedback it's like a swing set uh, when it comes over here then you push it and it comes over here you push it if you push it out of phase it, it doesn't work you need to push it in phase so you need you need positive feedback you need to be in phase with the uh, with the output the input needs to be in phase with the output so if we're going to use this uh, signal here to provide feedback it's not the right phase um, it's opposite phase because when this goes high, this goes low. And so this is actually an inverting amplifier. Um, when this goes low, this goes high. So it's an inverting amplifier and we need to somehow turn that into positive feedback. Well, we have a signal. If we could shift the phase by 180 degrees, it would become positive again. Right now, it's 180 degrees out of phase. If we can somehow magically change the phase 180 degrees, then we can use it as feedback, all right? And that's what we're gonna do here, okay? This is going to be our phase shifter, all right? And I'll show you how that works, all right? So we're gonna take the output and we're gonna bring it around here to the input, all right? So that's gonna be our circuit. And, um, each time it goes through a capacitor, there is a phase shift, okay? A capacitor delays it. Also, an inductor delays it. You can build oscillators with inductors as well, but we're going to use this circuit right here. So we're going to shift the phase a little bit, shift the phase a little bit, shift the phase a little bit, and hopefully we get all the way around to 180 degrees, okay? Because that's what we need to do here. So first of all, let's take a look at our uh, take a look at our circuit that I built here. Just let me rearrange things. All right. Uh, so here is my circuit, and uh, let's take a look at a waveform. So we'll take a look at the output, and yes, indeed, it is oscillating, and it's a nice sine wave. So it's yeah, it's a nice way to get a sine wave. So what are we what are we looking at? All right. We're looking at the output, okay? Looking right, right here. And uh, let's go and take a look at how that gets changed in phase, okay? I'm gonna be probing here, 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 and here. We'll follow it, we'll follow it through, okay? All right, so here is our waveform. We'll turn on channel two so we can have a comparison um, and if I probe here, they should be the same uh, other than amplitude here. Okay, so they're both the same amplitude. And there we go. That's, so we're feeding that in. That was the first, the input to the first capacitor. Here's the, here's the output to the, uh, I'm AC coupled. Um, here's the output for the second. Uh, and you can see that we're, we're, we're shifting the phase, all right? We've shifted it, you know, I don't know, 40 degrees, something like that. Um, so yeah, it's moved over, okay? Let's remember that one. Let's uh, go to reference. Uh, let's see, we want channel two, and I want to save to reference. So it's gonna remember that one. So remember, that's the first phase change. Then let's look at the second capacitor. All right, let's make it bigger. You're gonna lose a little signal for each one. And there you go. You can see that we've shifted it once and now we've shifted it again. And if we shift it again, we'll be right about 180, right? This is where we wanna be. We wanna bring that peak to where that valley is. And then we will be, we will be, um, we will be back in business. All right, 
All right, so um, if I go one more in the circuit here, it is right, it is right here. And let me make it bigger. And let me stop that just for a second there. So you can see that we've taken the original signal, we shifted it, and then we shifted it, and then we shifted it. And uh, now the peak here is the valley here. So now we're back in phase again, and that's the that's how this thing works. All right. I I looked here, and then here, and then here. So we have about a, you know, one shift, two shifts, three shifts, and now we're at 180 degrees. And uh, yeah, and so it's positive feedback, and it oscillates. All right. So let's get rid of all of these all these extra things in here. And there we go, we have a nice uh, sine wave oscillator at uh, 610 hertz. So I just used some of my favorite resistors and things. Uh, I've got a lot of 0.01 capacitors, so I just used all those. I've got a lot of 10Ks so I, and 1Ks, so I used all those. I had to go to the, my parts bin and find 100K to pop in there. And uh, I've got a bunch of uh, 10 microfarads as well. So yeah, I just used values that I had on hand. Wasn't quite sure what was gonna be uh, the end result, but it seemed to be 610 Hertz. But you could use different values in here and uh, uh, there's probably equation stuff you could use to solve this thing. But um, I just wanted to put one together and uh, generate a oscillator using just one transistor.